I'd like to go through a demo of transferring USDC on testnet between Ethereum and Avalanche. Uh, keep in mind that these are real burns and real mints of USDC, and it's all happening in a permissionless, composable manner that any of you could build as well. Cool. So, um, we have projected on screen a sample dApp that showcases the protocol being used on testnet. With our year-end mainnet launch, we anticipate similar experiences from our partners, including the Avalanche Bridge. For this demo, and the initial release of the protocol later this year, we'll have support for Ethereum and Avalanche. Like G said, expansion to additional chains will follow in 2023. The cross-chain transfer protocol is bidirectional, connecting any two chains that it is supported on. Here, we'll transfer USDC from Ethereum to Avalanche. Now we're going to connect our Ethereum wallet to the dApp to sign the start of the bridge transaction. As you can see, we'll be using MetaMask for this example. The protocol allows for any beneficiary address you'd like to specify on the destination chain. But if, you're, uh, but if you're sending to the same address on the receiving chain, our demo allows you to simply copy your current wallet address that's doing the send. We'll do so now. Now we will configure the amount. Let's transfer 5,000 USDC. There's a two-step process for burning your USDC at the source. In order to deposit and burn, we'll first need to approve the bridge contract to transfer funds from your wallet into the bridge before it can do the actual transfer that burns and moves those funds. We know that this experience can be a little slow and also requires the sending address to have funds to pay the gas fees. USDC actually supports gasless spends, and in the future, developers can build on this to allow gasless bridges for our users who may not have the technical know-how or funds to pay for those transaction fees. But for now, we'll use the two-step process. We can now leverage the approval we just created and deposit our USDC into the contract for burning. So what we see here right now is it's broadcasting the approval, and that creates the bridging contract the right to take those funds in order to actually burn them. Now that that's done, G can use MetaMask to sign and broadcast the actual send that will burn the funds on Ethereum. What's happening now is your USDC is getting sent to the bridge contract on Ethereum, getting burned, and an event is communicated that 5,000 USDC should be minted on Avalanche and sent to the same address. And in particular, it's the submitting of the event that allows our bridge and ultimately the contract on the other side on Avalanche to know that the funds were actually burnt on one chain and can be re-minted on the other chain. So we can now see that that burn has completed. And if G switches to Etherscan, we can see that the Ethereum wallet uh, now has zero USDC on it. Um, if we click into that transaction, we can see that the USDC was first sent to the bridging contract and then sent to 0x0, which means that the USDC was burned and taken away from the supply on Ethereum. So we've now truly removed the USDC on Ethereum in preparation for recreating it on the other chain. So 
once that transaction was complete, our demo front end also pinged Circle's attestation service to fetch a signed attestation for the burn. And this signature proving that the event took place is what will take in the next step to the Avalanche chain to authorize reminting the funds on Avalanche. To do so, we'll first switch our wallet's network from working on Ethereum to working on Avalanche. This demo implements and exposes each and every step of the cross-chain protocol, but in reality, a bridge, dApp, game, or marketplace could trigger the receive and mint for you so that the end user experience has fewer steps. But for the sake of the demo, we wanted to show very clearly each and every step that's happening under the hood. So we've now switched to Avalanche, and we're now ready to do the final step of reminting the funds. So G clicks through MetaMask to broadcast the signed attestation that the DAP has fetched and send it to the contract on the Avalanche testnet, which will trigger the USDC mint to the receiving address. So that mint has now been completed. And if we switch to Snowtrace, we can see that the wallet on Avalanche now has 5,000 USDC. And clicking into the transaction, we can see that this is a net new 5,000 that was minted based on the attestation that was supplied by the bridge. This concludes our demo of the Circle cross-chain transfer protocol. To recap, we used the protocol to burn 5,000 USDC on Ethereum and mint it as USDC on Avalanche. 